Welcome back to another quick and dirty rebuild. This is a special uh, for reaching 10 subscribers. I'm super happy about that. And uh, so big thank you straight away from me here. And uh, now let's head into this quick and dirty rebuild of the Tennessee Titans. Take a look at the team. But looking at the offensive line, we have three positions that seem to be in need of improvement. One is uh, recently uh, picked up rookie Nicholas Petit Frer out of Ohio State. Um, I will be seeing how he improves in the first season. The second is Dylan Redunce. He's 23, rookie out of North Dakota State. Um, so I will be keeping him as well. Um, in uh, the center position, we've got uh, Elijah and Kansa. He's 56 overall at the moment, um, 25 years old. So there is there's definitely an improvement to be had there. Uh, Nate Davis, uh, right guard, 24 years old, 78 overall. He will stay, of course. I'm very happy with him. Uh, Taylor Lewin, 30 years old and an 82 overall. We might need to switch things up right there. A the wide receiver core is interesting. It's a good mix. Um, we've got Robert Woods, uh, as I said, one of my favorite wide, wide receivers for the LA Rams uh, from the previous years, only transferred to the Titans this offseason. Um, and the recently drafted Traylon Burks is the wide receiver too. I'm going to be sticking with that. Uh, behind them, we've got a bit of a filler material, uh, nothing spectacular there. Um, star of the offense, of course, is Derrick Henry, superstar X Factor, 97 overall uh, halfback. Um, and as I said before, Malik Willis uh, will be taking over as a QB1. I think that's fitting uh, and uh, putting Tannehill in his place. On defense, uh, things are looking a bit better, I would say, uh, simply looking at the overalls. Um, we've got a uh, very good free safety here, uh, Kevin Bayard, uh, 28 years old, superstar, so that's that's okay with me. Um, we've got uh, Harold Landry III, 25 years old, 83 overall. Uh, he's our right outside linebacker. The other outside linebacker is uh, Bud Dupree, left outside linebacker, 28, 75 star dev, so he might be going up or declining a bit slower, but overall I think I will be doing something here as well. Um, Zach Cunningham, 26, 77. I'm okay with him. Um, and the second uh, midline backer is David Long Jr. He's a 24 and 71 overall. So I will be sticking with him. That's okay as well. Um, strong safety, of course, Amani Hooker. Uh, I will be leaving him there. Corners are a bit of a mixed bag, I think. Uh, Christian Fulton, 22 years old. I'm happy with him as my CB1. Over here, uh, we've got Caleb Farley. Um, from the 2021 draft, 75 overall hidden depth trade. So we don't know uh, what to expect here, but uh, I, I expect a minimum of a star dev. So uh, looking good right now. Uh, the edges are good. We've got Danico Autry, he's 3180. So at the moment, we don't need to change this. In the long term, we will have to do something here. Uh, Tier uh, Tart. 70 overall, 24 years of age, uh, basically okay from the age perspective. We'll have to see how he improves. He's a scheme fit, so he might be going up, uh, but the D-tackle uh, will be a position I'm looking at. And Jeffrey Simmons over here, 24 years old, superstar def, 89 overall. So very, very well set. Uh, I think for the first season, we can uh, head straight into the season. I, I will not be making any changes now. Um, and uh, on special teams, we've got uh, Kern and Bullock here, or, or Bullock, if you want to go uh, with the Sandra pronunciation. All right, so um, with these changes made, uh, we will be heading into the first season. Um, I will be sailing straight to the end, uh, then do a quick recap. The aim of a quick and dirty rebuild, of course, is to win the Super Bowl um, with the selected team. At the end of the first season, in this quick and dirty rebuild of the Tennessee Titans, we are in second spot with a 9 and 8, actually a better outcome than in most quick and dirty rebuilds. Contract negotiation time, we have concluded our negotiations. We will be resigning Harold Landry III, Nick Westbrook, Ekine, and Thierry Tart who will be my future backup at D-Tackle. Apart from that, we will be letting go all the other players, Donchell Hilliard, Dylan Cole, Des Fitzpatrick, Ryan Izzo, Tory Carter, Tommy Hudson, Corey Levin, 
Beckon Jones, uh, Derwin Gray, Colvin Lennon, Elijah and Kansa, and Logan Woodside. All of these players simply do not bring as much to the team as I need right now for this quick rebuild. Trade number one done, we are sending Ryan Tannehill to the Bengals for a second and a third round pick for this year's draft. Next deal done, we are sending Lewin, our left tackle, to the Bears, we are receiving Tevin Jenkins. Next deal done, we are sending our edge, Autry, and a seventh round pick for next year's draft. To the Bills, we are receiving Greg Rousseau, uh, uh, left edge as well, but higher rated and uh, 22 years old. Next deal done, we are sending our outside linebacker, Brian Dupree, and uh, two sixth round picks for next year's draft. To the Broncos, we are receiving left outside linebacker, Malik Reed. Next deal done, we are sending our punter Kern as well as a fifth round pick for next year's draft. To the Browns, we are receiving Bohorkes. All right, we had a dozen wide receivers, a lot of them old and bad. So basically we're getting rid of all of them uh, in return for draft picks. Similar deal done, three wide receivers go to the Bengals again. We receive a seventh round pick. Final cleanup, we are sending three wide receivers again to the Bills for a seventh round pick. All right, we've got five contracts accepted from the ones that we handed out. We have signed a new left guard as a backup. We have signed a new kicker uh, with blank and chip here, a dedicated fullback. Ben Mason, I was like having that right outside linebacker Arnold Ebiketia. Uh, a draft pick from the 2022 draft uh, was a free agent. I just picked him up because why not? And we've got a perfect uh, edge backup with Deshaun Hand. A quick draft recap. First pick was Chase Cook, a center out of Notre Dame. 73 overall, 23 years old, hidden death trait. I really liked his look. He will be my starting center straight away. Let's see what we can bring out of him. Malachi Bradford, another uh, draft pick here uh, out of UCLA, 70 overall. He's a left tackle. Um, I will be switching him over to right tackle. That's a position where I need a bit more depth. Uh, next up, we've got Timmy Fitzpatrick, uh, QB backup uh, for uh, Malik Willis. Uh, he's a rookie out of Oklahoma, hidden depth trade 60 overall, so he will be slotting in behind him. Another central camera in Callaway, a backup looking solid, Boise State, his origin, and we've got good strength, good block power and lead block, so that's okay. Next up, Brad Connor, 22 years old, 65 overall, wide receiver. Um, he's got very good uh, speed attributes, of course you can improve him, uh, but overall already looking very good. Uh, Zaire Sermon, a halfback, backup also, 64 overall, fifth round pick. Sixth round pick was Joe Gore, left outside linebacker out of Wyoming, uh, 65 overall. And now we had three seventh round picks. One was Demarius Geddes, 21 year old rookie out of Kentucky. He's a corner, uh, free safety, Roman Edwards, 21 year old rookie out of Wisconsin, 65 overall. And finally, J.D. Reynolds, a D-tackle, rookie out of Penn State, 60 overall. So, all in all, not, not a bad haul, but uh, my main target was Chase Cook. End of our second season. The Titans have improved, actually. We are at 10 and 7 right now. And uh, we will be playing the Bengals in the wildcard round. So, we made the playoffs in the second season. Quick season recap, the Cincinnati Bengals beat the Green Bay Packers in the Super Bowl. Joe Burrow was the uh, Super Bowl MVP. Uh, overall MVP was Joe Mixon. Joe Judge, the Bengals coach, was coach of the year. Offensive player also Joe Mixon. Defensive player Rashan Gary of the Packers. And uh, offensive rookie was John Whitfield. The quarterback defensive rookie of the year was Will Beasley, a D-tackle for the Saints. Player negotiations have concluded. We re-signed our right guard Nate Davis, Amani Hooker, Malik Reed, David Long Jr., Tier Tart. Uh, wow, that is a name that's not easy to pronounce quickly. Let's go for it. 
Ola Zunkanmi Adeni. All right, next time around, I'm going to be better at that. Anyway, we resigned him right outside linebacker backup. No offer for Jordan Wilkins. No offer for Pat Elfline. Uh, we resigned Aaron Brewer, John Marco Jones, uh, Frederick Smith Jr., AJ Moore Jr., and Walter Palmore did not receive offers. Trade done. We are sending a left guard, Ryan Bates, to the Bills. We are receiving Owen Woodmer, who's uh, younger and has a higher overall. Another deal done. We are sending our D tackle backup, Reynolds, a seventh round and a second round pick for next year's draft to the Bills. We are receiving Tariq Meeks, who's a scheme fit higher overall than our current best D tackle and has a star dev trait. Next deal done. We are sending uh, Malik Reed. Sixth and fifth round pick for next year's draft to the Browns. We are receiving Cherry, who's a left outside linebacker with a lower overall, but he's got a star def trait and he's 23 years old, plus a scheme fit, so uh, he will be improving quickly. Next deal done. We are sending our mid linebacker Cunningham and a fourth round pick for next year's draft to the Cardinals. We are receiving Saving Collins, also mid linebacker, slightly higher overall, but he's a scheme fit, a star def, and he is five years younger. Next deal done, we are sending our free safety uh, Bayard to the Jaguars. And uh, before you question my sanity, yes, he was a superstar, but we are bringing in Kyle Hamilton, who is a superstar as well. Um, he does have a slightly lower uh, overall, but he's a scheme fit plus a superstar, plus he's 23 years old, so he will be improving very quickly. I was a bit fearful that Bayard might be declining sometime in the future or losing that high dev trade and thus losing trade value. Next trade done, we are sending our strong safety Amani Hooker a third round next year, a second round this year to the Washington football team, Washington Commanders. We are receiving Cameron Curl. Uh, he is a bit younger, has a high overall and a star dev trait, so he will be slotting straight into that position. At a free agency signing, we signed a wide receiver, Wondala Robinson. Uh, he was a free agent for some reason. He's got star dev um, and he's 23 years old, so he will be slotting straight into the team. Um, we drafted Hal Dickerson with our first round pick. He's a right tackle, 69 overall, hidden dev trait. So uh, he will be moving in there. I was hoping for a higher overall actually, but uh, 69 was all we could get. And third round pick was Marco Cartwright, a backup corner, just to add a bit more depth at that position, but he's quite quick, so uh, that might come in handy here. Kicking off our third season now, let's take a quick look at our squad before heading into the season. Um, we made quite a few changes, actually. Um, I uh, moved it around a little bit uh, because our uh, Owen Widmer actually is good enough to slot right in there and uh, has a higher overall um, in comparison to Radon's here. Um, so Nate Davis will be taking over right guard. Um, we've still got a bit of a situation here at right tackle. I'm not quite sure what to do about that, uh, but I'll just leave it at that. And uh, for story's sake, leave it with uh, Nicholas Petit Frere here. He's only 22, so uh, he should be going up into the high 70s now, I hope. Malik Willis have gone, uh, has gone up to the star dev trait, which is very nice. Um, I like that a lot. Um, he's the 14th ranked quarterback, and uh, I do hope uh, that this is the season for him. Um, we picked up one dollar Robinson. I will be moving him up to a wide receiver two. So now we've got Robert Woods and uh, one dollar Robinson behind him. Traylon Burks looking good for the first uh, three wide receivers here. Um, Henry, uh, Derek Henry did go down uh, from Superstar X Factor. He's now only a superstar, but uh, still very good for us at a 98 overall. So uh, definitely sticking with him. Uh, defense uh, was also shuffled around a little bit uh, towards the end of the last season. We brought in Kyle Hamilton, who's an instant uh, uh, dev trade improvement. And uh, I do hope that his overall will be following hand quite quickly. Um, We've got uh, Harold Landry the third, still at right outside linebacker. We've got Long Jr. and Saving Collins here in the mid linebacker slots. Um, we brought in Marcus Cherry, a 23-year-old star dev at left outside linebacker. 
Cameron Curl, uh, our new strong safety. And uh, the corners are unchanged. We've got Roger McCreary and uh, Caleb Farley over here. Uh, still 24, star dev trait, 82 overall, looking very good. I'm happy I brought in Deshaun Hand in the free agency here as a backup at right edge since uh, Justin Simmons now has an injury for the uh, beginning of the season, but we've got a very good backup. So we will not be feeling that impact too much, hopefully. Uh, Tyreek Meeks was brought in as D-tackle. Greg Rousseau is our left edge. And just for the completionists amongst you, we have uh, our punter is Bohorkes and our kicker is Blankenship. So uh, I think we're looking good. We're looking competitive. Let's head into the season, see what we can do. At the end of the regular season, we are in second spot behind the Jaguars with a 12 and five record looking very nice here. Uh, we will be facing the Miami Dolphins. Quick look at our roster. If anything changed here over the course of this uh, season, uh, I see no dev trade changes here. Everybody did go up a little bit. I already upgraded the players. Um, quick look at defense. Justin Simmons is back, so that's definitely good news. And uh, we are at full strength as we head into uh, the playoff game. As I just noticed that Caleb Farley has picked up an injury, but not to worry, we've got uh, Fulton here covering for him and Roger McCreary at CB1. So let's go, let's see if we can win the game. Okay, so we won the game against the Miami Dolphins. Since this is a bit uh, quicker uh, than the usual quick and dirty rebuilds, um, I will not be playing these games. I'm only uh, quickly simming through them. Um, we do have two injuries. One is Caleb Farley, the other is Christian Fulton. So we've got a bit of an injury crisis at corner. Let's see if we can fill that in uh, with a free agent as we head into the divisional playoff round against the Denver Broncos. All right, beautiful. We are through to the AFC Conference Championship game against the Kansas City Chiefs. Let me just quickly show you. Um, I signed a cornerback a replacement um, as a band-aid. It's Bryce Callahan. He was in the free agents pool, 32 years old and 83 overall. So uh, definitely nothing more than a quick fix, uh, but a very good one at that. I'm actually happy that uh, I got a pretty good corner to assist Roger McCreary here. Um, as uh, we take a look at the team, everybody's fit. Let's get going. For the Super Bowl, uh, let's find out if this is the grand finale for this 10 minute quick and dirty rebuild of the Tennessee Titans. Uh, we will be facing the Dallas Cowboys. Um, let's do this in a quick uh, manner now. Uh, the first uh, information I want to give you is we have two major injuries. Uh, one is Roger McCreary, cornerback. Now he is injured and uh, Marcus Cherry, our starting line, uh, left outside linebacker. So uh, I will be starting Arnold Evicetia instead of Marcus Cherry here. Bit of a blow, but I'm confident uh, that uh, we will be able to manage. Uh, the second information that I want to quickly share with you is who we will be facing exactly um, as part of the Cowboys roster here. Uh, quarterback is Dak Prescott, Cal Trask uh, is his backup, uh, halfback is Ezekiel Elliott of course, a superstar X-Factor, backup Brian Meadows, fullback is Mason Stocker, uh, CD Lamb and uh, Michael Gallup and Jaden Fowler are the top three wide receivers so we should be uh, very careful here we've got a superstar x factor and uh two star devs if i remember it correctly tight end dalton schultz nothing much has changed here left tackle will be facing dante dennard unless they're switching things around a little bit uh because tyron smith is injured left guard ben powers center is matt farniok again maybe uh, they are switching things around here uh, right guard is Zach Martin, 99 overall, a superstar. Terrence Steele is the right tackle. Left edge Demarcus Lawrence, 31 years, 94 overall, superstar death trait. Right edge is uh, going to be Chauncey Golston, since um, the primary uh, edge is going to be injured. D tackle is Maurice Hurst and Neville Gallimore. Okay, so these two will be the ones that we're facing. Left outside linebacker Austin Bryan, 77 overall. Mid linebackers Leighton Van Rescher, of course, Jabril Cox. 
uh, right outside linebacker, another injury to Micah Parsons, uh, who would have been a tough opponent. Damon Groves is definitely going to be easier. Uh, corners are Trevantic, Superstar, Jordan Lewis, and Akela Witherspoon, uh, depending on how they set up on the field. Free safety, Malik Hooker, of course, uh, and strong safety uh, is Jaron Kirs. Um, kicker, Kevin Turner. Hunter Derek Gladstone. Before we head into the game, uh, let's take a look how we are setting up ourselves here. Um, first uh, notice or of the day is uh, Derek Henry is back to Superstar X Factor. I'm happy I didn't trade him. I was about to do that. Uh, Malik Will is sitting strong and uh, 92 right now. He is now the 14th ranked quarterback, unchanged the position in the ranking. Um, apart from that, everybody uh, that we need is fit up here. Uh, defense is looking good as well. Uh, we have two strong corners here, even with Roger McCreary not here. And as I said, Arnold Ebiketie, uh, he's here with a 75 overall, um, filling in at the left outside linebacker here. Uh, he should be a solid replacement. And uh, I'm, I'm actually quite hopeful that this will turn out well. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get going. The game is underway. Tennessee straight away on the board. 7-0 in the first quarter. 7-7. Seven seven. Dallas hitting back. 14-7. Uh, 14-14. Fourteen and seven. Fourteen and fourteen. Back and forth. 21-14. 21-21 in the second quarter. 24-21. And uh, let's see who will... Yeah, 31 21 31 28 now in the fourth quarter let's head into the game right now and at 41 35 and 27 seconds to play we will be jumping into the game let's go with a halfback dive just for a little bit of gameplay action here for you derrick henry our superstar x factor um will be heading straight into the fray here at uh, 22 seconds um i actually would like to do something like a, like a pass play but i don't want to risk uh, turnovers which are my speciality here but uh, just for a little bit of gameplay action let's pick up that first down here go out of bounds as at uh, zero seconds left as the tennessee titans win this super bowl 41 35 very well deserved uh, very nice score and what a success for malik willis for the season recap of the third season in this quick and dirty rebuild of the Tennessee Titans, uh, we win the Super Bowl 41 versus 35, the two times AFC champion beating the 10 times NFC champion Dallas Cowboys. So we are the champions, Super Bowl MVP. That's of, of extra joy to me is Malik Willis, our quarterback. Um, that has replaced uh, Ryan Tannehill, who was just a bit too, too, uh, lacks in his comments um after the draft pick of Milik willis in the 2022 uh draft uh the awards went to ezekiel elliott urban meyer always <laughs> that's always funny to me um then zeke again uh, Khalil mack was defensive player offensive rookie was brian meadows for the cowboys and defensive rookie was matt owens for the dolphins taking a final look at our roster uh, that won this uh, super bowl versus the dallas cowboys um, i think it's a very solid roster um, we managed to push down the age um, overall so uh, this is a roster that is really set for the future especially with the quarterback malik willis 25 years only and 92 already um, very very nice uh, stats very well rounded um, the wide receiver core would be the position uh, that I would be um, improving next um, as a veteran. Robert Woods has gone down to a normal death trade, but I wanted to hold on to him after his trade from the LA Rams in the 2022 offseason. Uh, defense is uh, very, very strong with it. Justin Simmons at a superstar X factor. And uh, apart from that, everything looking very good bryce callahan was a very good band-aid i'm happy he was here um and uh, also looking forward to getting uh roger mccreary back but uh, overall 
Also, defense is a very uh, strong setup. We're looking very good uh, with a 91 overall on defense, 88 overall on offense, and 89 overall um, for this team that we have rebuilt. I'm going to be leaving this super quick and super dirty rebuild of the Tennessee Titans as it stands. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this uh, extra short compressed format uh, as a special thank you for reaching the landmark of 10 subscribers. I'm really stoked. I'm super happy about this. Maybe sometime uh, uh, I'll be looking back. Maybe other YouTubers will be looking at this and going, for 10 subscribers, you're doing this. But yes, I'm doing this for 10 subscribers. Um, I'm super happy about this. So thank you to all you uh, who subscribed to my channel. Um, for all the others, if you like this, please drop me a like and subscribe to the channel. This always helps me a lot, of course. Um, if you want to see something uh, specific, just drop me a comment um, or send me a message. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.